are creating this supplier okay and uh, that is the same payment uh, terms and condition that is at the account number right so here we can enter the payment terms uh, let's suppose it is net 30 days is Arthya okay and uh, you can give a credit limit also also then we have a VAT settings uh, this is not your uh, this is not a VAT agency right it is a normal supplier here so here we can set up that default VAT code also but right now no need the country is UA, uh, United Arab Emirates and uh, the VAT registration number that is the TRN number of the supplier that is a 15 digit code yeah then that is additional information the what is a supplier type it is a supplier it's a tax agency it is a service provider it's a consultant uh, let's suppose it is a supplier and then save it right so this is how we're gonna create a supplier in QuickBooks Premier now next step is that uh, we already uh, done this topic okay so next step is that we are going to create one purchase order and uh, again you need to go to this supplier and uh, if you will see the difference uh, you're using uh, Musharraf you're using that uh, uh, the QuickBooks Enterprise that US edition so in that US edition here that uh, the tab is called vendor right it is vendor but if you're using the UK version in the UK version the tab is the name is supplier okay uh, but the rest of uh, the, uh, the tabs the options are the same okay so we need to create the purchase order now so again you click on this supplier in the supplier we're gonna create this purchase order okay so the supplier name is the same that is a drop ship drop ship uh, if you want to uh, drop it to directly to the customer you can mention that uh, the customer here right so that is our purchase order we are creating that purchase order assume it on 1st april uh, 2020 that is our purchase order number and uh, we're going to order let's suppose a keyboard the quantity we're going to order uh, let's suppose uh, 100 the rate is 30 right and if you look here that is additional column which is it is a taxable right so that is five percent so you can select here the tax code okay that is three thousand that is the total amount then we are also going to order that uh, the iphone 11 right and uh, we're going to order the quantity let's suppose we're going to order 50 pieces and the rate is four thousand dirham and that is again the taxable um, uh, it is a taxable and the total uh, that the total becomes 200,000 here yeah? Right, so this is how you can create your purchase order you can add the items and uh, If you look at the bottom the total VAT it is this much 10,150 on this invoice and the invoice total is the purchase order total is that is 200 uh, 213,150 Right, and if you want to give an additional if you want to give a supplier a message so you can mention here a tag uh, uh, you can give a message which will appear on the purchase order to the supplier and uh, that is that uh, the supplier VAT code is there that is same a taxable it's already there and then save and close right so save and close this this is how we're gonna create a purchase order now the next step is that I want to see the report of the purchase order so we click on this reports in this reports we have this purchases and I want to see the list of open purchase orders so in the purchases we have this open purchase orders in this open purchase orders look right now we have only one purchase order right on uh, 1st April 2020 and the supplier name is HP Trader LLC that is a delivery date and that is a total amount of purchase order which is 213 and uh, the opening uh, that open balance is the same also 213 
So this is how we're gonna create a purchase order and uh, we can check that open purchase order reports in QuickBooks Premium. Okay, so our next step is that uh, assume that we receive the inventory, we receive the items, right? We order on 1st April and we receive our delivery on uh, uh, 5th of April 2020. So how are we gonna do that? We can close this. Again, we go on this supplier. In this supplier, uh, we're gonna receive items and enter bill. We have two scenarios here. One is that if you're receiving only the items, then you can select receive items here. And later on, if you receive that invoice, then you need to enter this enter bill for received items here. But right now, let's assume it that we are receiving the items and we're going to enter the bill also because we are receiving the bill also the invoice also right so that is receive items and enter bill okay so here you need to select that is a bill it's not a purchase return if there is a purchase return then you need to select this credit note here but that is a purchase invoice it, it, it is a uh, it is a bill so that's why we're gonna select here the bill the supplier name is HP address will come automatically that is our uh, let's assume it that is our purchase invoice date which is uh, 5th of uh, April that is that uh, invoice reference number here that is the terms and conditions are there you can write additional uh, like uh, description or narration here a memo note here and uh, let me select the supplier okay wait I'm gonna show you okay look this is the purchases purchase order after the purchase order we have two uh, two steps that one is receive stock will bill and the other one is receive stock without bill so we are doing receive stock with will which is uh, in the supplier that is receive items and enter bill so that is a bill you need to select the supplier HP trader LLC so when you select this the same moment uh, another window will open which is open POS right it will show you that against this supplier we have an open purchase order okay so here we're gonna select yes here because I want to uh, receive this invoice against the purchase order so click yes and that is our purchase order you need to select and then press OK. So automatically the entire purchase order will appear here. So the date is, the invoice date is, let's suppose 5th of April. That is a reference number. And that is the total amount that invoice. That is the bill due date. As we selected the, the net uh, days are 30. So it comes automatically the bill due date. And uh, if you look here, uh, that is the items that uh, the same that we are uh, we order keyword hundred quantity the the cost the price is thirty it is a taxable three thousand then we order iPhone how many pieces fifty uh, the cost is four thousand taxable and two hundred thousand the total VAT is uh, this much ten thousand pen one fifty yeah and the total amount is this much of an invoice. That is 200,000 uh, 200 or 13,150 clear right and now what if uh, this HP trader they're also charging us delivery charges freight charges right so I want to add delivery cost or the freight cost right so if you look the total invoices 213,150. So you can go here in this expenses tab if you want to add any charges. Okay, this expenses is for the charges, this item for the stock. Right, so we go here in the expenses 
and uh, let's suppose uh, if we check we have delivery okay let's assume it that is postage and delivery charges right or if we can check if there is a freight okay freight and shipping cost is there okay and uh, taxable amount uh, they are charging 1000 there press tab okay now if you look the total amount is changed of this invoice right because we add the freight and shipping cost thousand there with the five percent back clear right okay so then i'm gonna save this one save and close and uh, this is giving us this uh, warning message because we enter the credit limit 75,000 so the current balance is exceeding more than that so do you want to continue yes I want to continue yes so this it is safe now okay and uh, then if you want to do the payments so you can go here and uh, pay bills right and we don't have a bank account yet so I'm gonna create here the Islamic bank and uh, I'm gonna save it and open balance here So we are doing payment now. So I'm gonna uh, I'm paying full right now at the moment, right? And uh, pay selected bill. That is a bank account. That is the date of the check, and we are paying for the check. Pay selected bills, and done. And uh, if you go in the reports, that is suppliers and the payable, and uh, here we can check uh supplier uh, balance detail so this 25000 that is an opening balance then we have uh, this is that uh, uh, the payment is coming and uh, the third one is our bill here right, right. Uh, the payment is coming before because we didn't change the date it is uh, first of april here we are doing the bad topic right now. Any question, Mr. till here? Is it clear? Okay, so the balance is zero. We already make the purchase invoice, so that purchase tax it is already there in the report. So we can check that later. Now, next is that we are doing the receivable part because this topic. Uh, why why I'm going fast because we are doing the VAT right now okay so we already done with that uh, the payable receivables so I'm just giving you an overview right now so I'm give you uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you this uh, the customer side which is the receivable accounting so the first step is that uh, let's assume it that uh, we need to create the customer first so our customer name is uh, uh, Alulu hypermarket so in the customer we have customer center I'm gonna do that wait so we need to create a new customer now so we go here and new customer sheriff let me do that okay so here we need to give uh, the customer name right so let's suppose we have an opening balance of 15,000 right that is the same that address information is here oh. that is a uh, uh, where uh, the customer name is there I'm gonna copy paste it here right then that is a payment settings that you can give that additional uh, information uh, the terms and conditions are here and it is 15 days uh, preferred delivery method uh, about that invoice through email or a mail a physical one 
that is a credit limit we are giving a credit, uh, credit limit of one hundred thousand right preferred payment method it is check or a cash so you can select and that is a credit card information about the customer then that is a VAT setting we can uh, select the default VAT code it is a taxable country is this that is a VAT registration the tier and number of this of your customer that is a 15 digit code then again that is additional information what is the customer type uh, it's a retailer right that is a salesman name and that is related to the job costing right now we're not doing that and then save it so this is how we're going to create a customer in uh, quickbooks premium now next step is that uh, let's assume it we're going to issue a sale order now and then we're going to convert that sale order into a sale invoice and then we're going to receive the payment okay so we're going to create a sale order now so we go in the customer again in customer we're going to create a sale order here so the customer is lulu hypermarket and we are creating this sale order let's suppose on 10th of april okay let's suppose uh, today 5th of uh, that april right that is the name and uh, that is a shipping address is there that is a sale order number which is uh, 1000 right and that is the item information right we are selling uh, assume it uh, 20 pieces of uh, the iphone right you can write additional description here and uh, the order is uh, they ordered uh, 20 pieces right the rate is this 4200 okay and the total amount is 84000 which is taxable clear you can give an additional that customer message right it's been a pleasure working with you okay so that is the total sale order amount with uh, including the tax that is 88200 seven close and this is giving us a message that it is exceeding more than his credit limit and select yes so sale order is done so i'm going to create convert this sale order into an invoice okay so again you will click on this customer in this customer we need to create invoices so click here and uh, that is a customer job lulu hypermarket so when you select the customer automatically this window will open pop up and it shows us that uh, that we have one sale of uh, available sale order for this customer which is uh, lulu hypermarket right so you need to check this and then press ok so automatically it will appear so now what you want to do uh, create invoice based on sale order create invoice for all of the sale orders or create invoice for the selected item so i'm going to create for all of the sale order so i'm going to select the first option and then press ok okay so they ordered 20 pieces right that is a, a the text date that let's assume it that we are issuing this uh, the sale order on 6th of april right that is our sale order number and that is their PO number that is a net terms condition is uh, that they need to pay within 15 days the item is uh, iPhone 11 that is a dis whatever the description you can mention here they order their PO quantity is 20 right and uh, we're gonna deliver them 20 the rate is 4200 the total invoice uh, that uh, without uh, the tax it is uh, 84,000 and it is a taxable so you can see here the total VAT is right and uh, that is a total amount of uh, invoice which is 88 88,200 including the VAT clear right and then seven close so this is how we're going to create an invoice uh, convert a sale order into an invoice now if you want to check the reports 
we go in this reports in the reports we have customer and receivables in customer and receivables I'm gonna check the most important report which is customer balance detail so in this balance detail it will show us that uh, uh, that uh, the customer balance information like look on uh, 1st of April that we have an opening balance of 15,000 and then we have an invoice on uh, 6th of April which is 88,200 so the total balance to see Babel is 103,200 is it uh, any question till here okay so next step is that uh, we need to receive the payment so assume it that we are receiving the full payment uh, from this Lulu hypermarket, which is one hundred three thousand two hundred. So we're gonna receive the full payment. So we go here in the customers. In customer, we have this receive payments. You need to select receive from the party account, which is Lulu hypermarket, right? So automatically, that opening balance and this invoice is appearing here. So that is the payment amount. That is a payment date. Let's suppose we are getting this payment on uh, 9th of uh, April. Right, that is that check which we received. The payment method is check and we receive full. So I'm gonna check this option because we are receiving full right now. We are not receiving partial amount. If that is a partial amount here, you can mention it manually then. Okay. So that is a total receivable balance we are receiving in full. Look at the payment amount is it is balance and then save and close. And if you look the balance, we receive the payment on uh, the 9th of April. So balance become zero here again. Clear. Okay, now if there is a sales return, right? that uh, let's assume it that five iPhones they are not working they are damaged or broken during the shipment or whatever it's not as per the quality right so we need to do a sales return here now so we go in the customer in this customer we have this create credit notes and refunds so check this option select the customer it is Lulu hyper and uh, we are doing a sales return let's assume it on the uh, 11th of april right that is a credit note and uh, you need to mention the item here which is uh, iphone 11 and quantity is returned that is five pieces are returned the rate is the same 4200 and uh, the total amount is 21000 it is a taxable again so the total vat it is uh, 1050 and the total invoice amount is that is 22,050 here yeah. right and then save and close now here we got a, uh, we got three options the first is that uh, you want to retain this as an available credit or you want to give a refund or you want to apply this to an invoice so right now we don't have an open invoice so we cannot apply on an invoice right so we can give a uh, we can give a, a refund also or you can retain as an available credit so right now i'm gonna retain this as an available credit okay and uh, press okay so it is saved so if you look here that is a credit note so this amount this negative 22,050 dirham that is a payable amount this amount we need to pay to the the customer clear so now we have a scenario that uh, uh, your customer said that I want a replacement give us a replacement then obviously you will send uh, the replacement that five quantity and you're gonna issue a new invoice right that is a scenario when do you uh, when you're doing when you're giving a replacement but what if the customer he demands 
that uh, he don't want a replacement he wants a refund okay so now you need to apply or uh, you need to apply a refund you need to give a refund now so how are we gonna do a refund you will click on this customer in customer uh, we have the same credit notes and refund you need to click here okay and uh, you can select that invoice okay look if you uh, you can see here there's an option use credit to apply to invoice or use credit to give a refund okay so if you use this arrow you can find you can find that your credit note right and you can check this option use credit to give a refund okay so a refund is due to uh, due to that uh, the the party name which is lulu hypermarket and uh, you're issuing a check or a cash or what so we are it is a 22,000 amount so i'm going to issue a check that is a refundable amount which is 22,000 and uh, through this bank account that is a check date so check date is uh, let's suppose uh, 25th or let's suppose uh, on 12th right and uh, here you can mention a description refund paid to lulu hypermarket and i don't want to print right now and then press ok so this is how we can do a refund so if you look at the credit note it is what the status is refunded this is how you can do uh, you can do a, a refund in uh, quickbooks premium in the receivable side and if you check the reports the balance becomes zero again here okay now that banking option is used when you're if you're receiving a refund from the, uh, the from your uh, uh, from your supplier from the vendor that time you need to go in the banking because uh, in the customer in the supplier side we don't have an option to receive uh, to pay a refund for that you need to go into the banking okay no, no, no.